What's up guys, Justin here with thesketchupessentials.com. So in today's video, we're gonna check out an extension for SketchUp that might just replace the flip tool in your workflow. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so Curic Mirror is an extension from Curic that allows you to mirror objects in SketchUp. And so on its face, there's a lot of things that are kind of similar to the SketchUp flip tool, or more precisely, since this has been around longer than the flip tool, there's a lot of things in the flip tool that are close to what's in Curic Mirror. But um, this has some additional features, which I think you're going to like. Now, you can go to Curic's website or his Gumroad page, and you can download this. You can either put in $0 and download this for free, or put in a dollar amount over here in order to donate to support him. Um, so I always recommend that you try to support developers whenever you can, but either way, I will link to this in the notes down below. And so when you use Curic Mirror, um, at, at its face, it works similarly to um, the SketchUp flip tool. So um, when you install Curic Mirror and enable it in your extension manager, what's gonna happen is you're gonna get a little, you're gonna get a little icon that looks like this. And so when you do that, notice how when you mouse over this, you're gonna get different flip planes in here, depending on where your mouse goes. Now, one thing that um, has changed a little bit is it is kind of jumping around a little bit in here. And notice that it does give you the ability to inference over pretty much any face um, in your model. Um, but you can also tap the left, right, and up arrow keys in order to flip this just along the central axes right here. So um, basically the way this works is if you click on a plane, um, and I'm gonna go ahead and just click on this wall just so you can see what this does. Notice what this is doing is this is finding a plane and it's allowing you to flip the object along the plane like this. And so that is pretty similar to the SketchUp flip tool. Um, but there's some other features in here that you might find really helpful. So the first is the ability to mirror across edges. Oh, and by the way, you're going to want to stick around till the very end of this video, because there is a super cool feature contained inside a Curic mirror that you're not going to want to miss. But you can also select an object with Curic mirror, and you can use edges and inferences in order to flip or mirror objects as well. So notice how I can move my mouse over here and I can find different points in my model and I can flip across them, right? This is especially helpful if you right click in here. So notice how if I find the center of an edge right here, it's going to allow me to mirror across this. Well, if you right click, you can actually lock this to midpoint of edge, meaning whatever edge you mouse over, it's going to find that edge and it's going to allow you to flip based on that midpoint. Now, another cool thing about this, you can tap the control key in order to go into copy mode. And so when you do that, that's going to allow you to create a copy inside of SketchUp. So you can also select multiple objects like this. You can activate Curic Mirror, and then you can actually click and drag like this in order to set a mirror plane. And then you can change the direction based on the direction that you drag right here. Notice how it's giving you kind of a preview like this. So you could also pick a point that's a little bit further out and then do the same thing. Notice how if I tap that control key, it's gonna put me in copy mode and I can use it in order to quickly create copies. So in addition to having the ability to find the midpoint of edges, you can also set it up Say, say that you had an edge like this one in SketchUp and say that this had been divided into a certain number of segments like this, then that mirror across edges wouldn't work very well, right? Because it's gonna find the midpoint of each one of these edges in here, which isn't necessarily what you want. Well, you can, with that tool active, you can right click and instead of midpoint of edge, you can set mid between two points. What that's going to do is that's gonna allow you to select two points like this and then it's gonna find the midpoint between those and it's going to allow you to mirror across that surface right there. And so say that you had like a door in SketchUp. And so what I wanna do is I wanna find a mirror plane. And in this case, that's really easy. I can just move my mouse right here so I can find the center point of my frame. That way my door stays in place like this, right, but it flips directions. Well, one thing that you can do once you've done that is you can right click and you can click on the option to pin last mirror plane, like this. Well, when you do that, now it's going to remember that mirror plane and it's gonna give you a pair of arrows in here that you can use in order to set the direction that this mirrors. So not only can you do that once, you can do it multiple times. Okay, so let's say 
that I was to right click and I was to pick the midpoint of edge right here and mirror across this plane, well then I can right click and I can pin that plane as well. Well now I have multiple different mirror planes in here that I can use in order to quickly flip this object. And that is especially cool if you create a floor plan view. So if I tap the up arrow key like this, I'm gonna to toggle my section planes off and I'm gonna go into a top down view like this and I'm gonna turn my parallel projection off. Well now, if I select this object and I activate Curic Mirror, notice how I can flip this object inside of my SketchUp space. So that gives me the ability to have a very AutoCAD-like functionality for working with your different doors. And so let's say that we were to toggle our section planes, our section cut off for a second. And let's say that we were to make a copy of this, right? So I'm gonna use the Move tool, create a copy over here. I'm gonna rotate it. this well again if I activate this tool notice how that copy that I created retains these flip functions so once you've created a door um, you can select any copy of it right here and it's going to maintain or keep those saved mirrors in here now one other thing is if you do want to clear those you can right click with the tool active and click on clear mirror planes and it'll get rid of those inside of your model. So um, I don't necessarily want to keep it that way, but if you do want to get rid of them, you can do that as well. All right, so I'll link to Curic Mirror in the notes down below. Leave a comment below and let me know what you think about this extension. And I just love having that conversation with you guys. If you want to check out more SketchUp extensions, make sure you check out my ultimate extensions guide at the sketchupessentials.com slash extensions. That's got links to information and tutorials about over 140 extensions that you can use in SketchUp. But as always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.